Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are live for the third match of the Legend Showdown. I'll run it once, and today's opening round match is between Paulie Iris and Mikhail Thuritz. And today, joining me in the booth is a man that needs no introduction to the Twitch poker community. He's been putting out arguably some of the funniest Twitch poker content recently, and thankfully, he knows a thing or two about No Limit Hold'em, which is... Well, going to help me out a lot today. It's none other than Gazzy B. Gazzy, how you doing, my man? Mate, I'm glad I don't have a webcam on me. I'm blushing like a, a bride after that. Thank you very much. That's very funny. <laughs> Action turn card here on the right table. It is indeed. Uh, Mikhail going to get himself in a bit of trouble here. So it looks like Mikhail has seen and called a raise. And turn top pair. Polly with the best of it on the river. Do we ever check to induce when like the king of hearts is so bad for our range? No, I don't think so. I think it's just an absolute disaster if we have a hand as strong as this and our opponent is allowed to check back a hand like like yeah. he has like Queen Jack or Ten Nine or something like that. That makes yeah, sense. Follow through. Given our opponent is called out the big, there's only so many hands that he can have here. Um like strong hands, like do sex plus. It's only really a deuce. Well, oh, he's using up his entire time bank. It does flick in the call. That's the, the, the biggest tank we've seen so far today. And a chunky mm -hmm. pot mm -hmm. going Paulie's way up 8,400 so far, but obviously not even 10% of the way through today's match. So yeah. early doors. We've got a really interesting spot over on table Pio. This and this is a hand that you do need to Pio. Both oh, flush draws hey. brick in 3x overbet from Thuritz, and then uh, Paulie just saying, Well, have some of that, my man. Oh, wow. 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 Okay. So it, it was a 3x overbet. It wasn't a bet, then a raise, then a 3 bet jam. No, it was checked down all the way to the river, and then uh, Thuritz just 3x overbet river. And okay. Paulie said, well, let's uh, just play a 20k pot. Let's do it. I don't hate the jam there. I'm, he's going to have an RNG that's going to tell him to make that play at some frequency. Um, so obviously he's followed his RNG. Um, but obviously a really nice spot for Thuritz. And he, he halves the deficit. He gets even more than that back. He's right back in the game with that pot. Oh, look at the table on the right, Gazzy. Oh, my day. For Mikael, middle set for Pauly. He likes to just call the turn versus pot. Thuris. Seems reasonable to me at this stack deck. And that is a Trump. fairly safe river. Nothing else really gets there apart from King Jack, which we block quite heavily. I think we're going to see a bet, and I think we're just going to see a call, to be honest. That is a big bet. Wow. Diamonds bricking, hearts bricking, 9x. Yeah. Not getting there and Paulie getting paid. Cannot begrudge Thurits for calling there. That is a very frustrating cooler for the Swede. But a lovely size on the river from from Paulie. Betting very, very big. He's what polarized. Did he... He's either got it or he doesn't. And the size and reflected that. Wow. I'm going to stop my story right now and we'll jump back into it afterwards because on, uh, on table two card... Uh... Paulie oh, is wow. about to double up. Days. Let's go through it. Let's go. So we've got a quarter part of the flop. Yeah, three bet okay. pot. And, and uh, <laughs> no messing around. Snap raises. And Mikel is absolutely loving life. He's going to give the whole tank, like, oh, what do I do with my King Jack? And then he calls. <laughs> Bit of a frustrating turn card for Thuritz, but I don't see any version where the money doesn't go in. Given how wide the ranges are, I think this goes in a lot of the time. Yeah, SPL 1.5 going to that six of diamonds turn card, and wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> well, this one's getting clipped for the content. Talk about high mm -hmm. stakes, heads up, no limit, cooler. Really curious to see what Thuritz wanted to do on the river there. It's interesting to see he checks instead of betting himself. 
I think we just see a shove here from Phil's Mace. I think he's just going to shove always. And Miguel yeah. says, thank you very much. Back in the game. Let's go. 24k pot in my back pocket. Thank wow. you, sir. Wow. That was, I mean, uh, that's just the definition of a cooler, isn't it? I mean, the turn maybe saves Phil as me sometimes, but then just that river, just goodbye money. Oh, oh boy. Interesting turn card. This must be a three bet pot. Let's see what happens. There's Alexa check. That's quite interesting. I guess we don't need that much protection. Like we got the the ace of spades. Yeah. Uh, we got top sure. top. Not really scared of it. Uh, an ace rolling off. Yeah. And it's really nice hand. It strengthens our our check calling range. Um, and that's it, this is gonna be a really tough spot when Phil is maybe jams the river. What yeah, do I guess. I think I'm... we're gonna see a call. I think we're gonna see a very quick call. I don't, I don't think he's allowed to fold this. This is just completely not allowed. So I think we'll see a jam from Phyllis Mays and have a very quick call from Zerx. He doesn't love having the Ace of Spades. But having said that, it's not only relevant because Phyllis Mays isn't going to be bluffing too often with Spade combos. But yeah, it's unfortunate that we see that. Go on. I was going to say I'm being a bit too biased towards the Ritz. For those of you that don't know, me and Henry have got a friendly wager. So I'm, I'm Team Mikel. But it's not going well, <laughs> unfortunately. What do we think, Henry? Uh, if you're a winning player, what percentage of uh, sessions should you be winning in? In cash games or? Yeah, in cash games. So if you're a winning cash game player, what percentage of your sessions should be profitable? Wow. That'd be completely awesome. I, would, I wouldn't have a clue. Am I, am I allowed to go off my sample? <laughs> Just 100%. <laughs> yeah, it's like 87% or whatever it is. It's just running ridiculously well in the, over the last couple of months. We've got a big pot brewing on the left-hand side. We'll come back to that topic in a little second. Fitzy says 90%. I know Fitzy personally, and he runs really well, so that sounds about right. So the action has gone three bet from Mikel, C bet flop. He bet one third in the flop. He bet 75% of the turn. And I think we see a jam here at a really high frequency. He doesn't love life on the three. Phil's is going to have a decent amount of 4x. But having said that, check calling doesn't make much sense because Phil's Smith has so few bluffs. I don't love this size. The 25%. I'm really struggling to think of hands that are going to bluff for this size. But having said that, it gets absolutely snapped off. So a 12k pop being dragged in by Mr. Thurits. But I do think we have a lot of it in street poker as well, as Mikel likes to 4 bet the ace queen. Oh boy, it's super bad. deep. You love to see it. Super oh, deep on Pyodis. Really important that we all note that uh, Mikhail has the Ace of Hearts here, so we can see extreme fireworks in a hard turn. Because he's going to have some four bet bluffs that are like, you know, like um, Ace Five of Hearts, King Six of Hearts, etc. So he has flushes in his range. It's not just a case of, you know, he has Ace King of Hearts. So really curious to see how this pans out. I think Mikhail's going to unload the clip here. I really do. Yeah, and Paulie, I guess, strapping himself in. See you at the river, pal. Mm -hmm. 7,800 in the middle. This could, uh, I mean, with just 250 hands to go, this could be a you one, know, huge mate. hand. This is the one, mate. This could be very, very important in the grand scheme of things. Now, the question is, if the river is a brick like that, does Mikhail bluff with the ace of hearts? Because he can beat hands like ace 10 of hearts, ace 5 of hearts, ace 4 of hearts. 16 bags. Oh. My apologies, I got my logic a bit mixed up there. It's all right, mate. We will forgive you. Man, this is where, you know, this is one of those stories where you get to the river with ace queen and then you're telling your friends in the group chat. <laughs> so, anyway, I three bet pre flop. No, sorry, I four bet pre flop and, you know, I started blasted. And blast away, he does. Chat, do you think he's going to call type one in the chat? Do you think he's going to call two if he's going to fold? Get your answers in as quick as you can. One, if he's going to call two if he's going to fold. I think he's going to fold. Paulie needs to find the cape, could basically secure the win. 
yeah. he can just click the cool button. 31,000 in the middle already. These guys I said they... They, the they said no stack resets. They said they're going to just take it to the streets. Oh, it's so tense. Oh, <laughs> oh what an animal. Wow. Wow. 46,000 euro pot going Paulie's way. Finds the cape. And uh, I'll send you my PayPal details in a minute, mate. Don't well, you worry. Hey, I can't believe he's just made that terrible call. Pocket eights and a four left pot. What a <laughs> word. <laughs> Cost me a hundred pounds. <laughs> but as you mentioned, like really correctly from a theoretical point, you know, Thuris is going to just have a, a ton of full bet bluffs there. <laughs> that just empty, right? So yeah, I think absolutely. when are you looking at look at M MDFs and whatnot, I think mm -hmm. uh, probably have to call on that run out at a decent, decent amount of the time. As on the left table, Mikhail's turned to pair. I think we'll see a check here a lot from Phil's mates. He likes about half palm. The kill was a very easy check call on trip. He does call. Interesting river. Phil's mates makes a pair. And Mikhail obviously has a second pair. He has a heart blocker, he has a straight blocker as well. Let's see what happens. Curious to see if Phil's mates unloads a clip, and he does. He goes for it all. And Mikhail's put right in the meat grinder here. Very tough spot for him with second pair. What have I come back to? You've come back to absolute carnage, mate. Absolute carnage. Phil's is elected to unload the clip here. And Thurits must be playing on his mind that if he calls and wins, then he can claw back some of the deficit and get himself back into the game. There's only 300, 250 hands left. But he is elected to fold. And we move on to the next hand. Nice hand, fills me. Wow. If days. these are the whole cards, by the way, on table pio this, then uh, we could have a Ooh. 20k pot. Ooh. It's a fun flop. Continues for one third. And obviously, we know Paul is not going to be going anywhere just yet. I don't think he pulls the turn that much. Especially unblocking spades. If he has, you know, ace-x with a spade in his hand, he's a little more inclined to do so. But I don't think we see him fold the turn. As well as that, we don't see Mikhail pure bet this. He's going to check it sometimes. This time he does elect to bet it. it and I think we're going to see a call at some frequency from all here. So glad I got another one right. <laughs> you got, like, a notepad open. Just, like, <laughs> take... It's better to tick every time you get one right, just in case Keeping anyone scores, crushes it. Keeping scores. <laughs> Ice. <laughs> wow. Wow. Did what not I love about that from that. Is he just made up his mind that he was calling, so when the, the money went in, he was like, I'm calling. There we go. Big pot of brewing on table. Pio, this ace king versus ace queen. Yeah. And, uh, the stack deck as well. We're going to see a peel here from Thurits. I don't think he ever five bets. I don't think he ever folds. Oh, baby. We did an ace on the turn and we're back in the game. You just, you just want to see blood, mate, don't you? You're definitely not impartial to this, <laughs> not. To the, to this hundred quid bet that you got on the line. It's a hundred pounds. <laughs> Five pizzas. <laughs> it is is it five, five pizzas? Where the f how much are you paying for pizzas, mate? It's quite quid, obviously. Is your maths that bad? Oh, <laughs> boy. There it is. Oh, Back boy. I'd be very surprising. Oh, he's checked. Wow, he it. checked it. Wow. That's very surprising. And it wouldn't surprise to see him call with the 5-6 as well. This deep flops an open ender. This is a 4-bet pot, right? It is indeed. 170 bigs effective going to the flop. 4,800 in the middle. 
Strap yourselves in, boys and girls. Let's go. Pretty anticlimactic turn for Philippines. You think this turn goes check check, or do we need some protection with the queens? Uh, I think we can go both ways. I think we're going to RNG it. We're going to bet turn a decent amount of the time. The question is, do we see Philippines bluff the river? Uh, I think he has to. I think he has to bluff six high here. Yeah, I agree. Bottom but of his range. Sizing. I think maybe, yeah, something about two thirds bot, and I think it's just going to get snapped off. I'd be surprised if third selects the fold here. I think this is going to get called very, very quickly. There are too many 10 nines and jack nines and jack 10s and things like that. And we don't block too many of them. The only yeah. thing we block is hands like queen jack of spades and ace queen of spades. I think this is going to get called very quickly. And if we also have really good king x blockers here, given we, we do. have pain or heart in our hands because it's the king of clubs. Back in the game. That's 100 the hands away. Ended. Two buy-in deficit at the moment for Thuritz. Three bet pot over on table Watts Pio. And a, a large C bet as well, Gazzy. 80%, I believe it was, on the flop. On a pretty wet board. Paulie makes the call 10 of diamonds on a turn. Okay, I'm, I'm with you now. We have a three bit pot on the left table as well. A couple of big pots brewing. Ah, he just puts him in. No messing about. I think given the fact that Philosophy hasn't snapped off yet is a good sign for Thurrets. Because we see Mikhail turning the screw on the left table as well, betting the flush completing turn for a half pot. It's an interesting size. A couple of really interesting spots on both tables. Thurits could do is winning both these pots as the board pairs. Yeah, I mean, if he, if, he wins, if he wins both pots, he's kind of back into it. A hundred right hands it. left. Yeah, definitely. This is genuinely very intense. This is <laughs> it is. It's deep in the tank on table Watts Pio. He is deep in the tank. I'm really curious to see what Thuris likes to do on table Pio this. He goes for a 65%-ish pot value bet, which screams flush to me for this size. Well, wow. looks like we may have a nail-biting finale on our hands. Oh, there's a jam from Phyllis Mays. Oh my goodness. That is not what Gazzy B wanted to see. That is what I want to see. I want to see Mikel just call it off here and just win. <laughs> I think he's going to call, you know. Phyllis Mays is reading so thin, giving me three bet pre. He doesn't have too many boats. Does fold. Fair play to Phil's means that's an incredible pot to win. You can see tomorrow Fatal, huge underdog Gazzy coming into that match against Krabbachow. So uh yes, I yeah, that. I I got got a feeling a lot of people are gonna be making the most of, of those odds and, and betting on the young prince. So we play our final hand on table what's Pio. And, uh, and of what has been a truly fantastic session. It's been thoroughly enjoyable. The boys and girls watching back home. We're back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central European time. Fatal Holtz against Run right At Once's very own Kevin Ravichel. Uh, Mikhail Gazi B, thank you so much for joining me and best of luck uh, in future matches, Mr. Chow. See you guys later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. Take it easy. Bye. See you next time. You Goodbye. Too.